Hi everybody, it's Kristen. So I'm on to my next four looks, one palette in um, a, my series that I've been doing for you guys. The, this one is going to be the Nude Tood palette. I promised this because it was such a close second in the last voting that we had. Um, so today I have on my eyes, on my eyes, I have Selfish as my main lid color. And I took Sultry, which is right here, in the crease, because this is a little bit of a cooler color, cooler color, so I wanted to warm it up a little bit. And then I smudged, this is, I thought this was gonna look better than it was, but I made it work anyway. I smudged the Kajal, Steely Kajal eyeliner in Smoky Quartz, which looks like this. But, you know, it really, it, for some reason, I don't know, it, on my hand it doesn't come off quite as blue, but on my eyes it came off a little bit blue. And I've used this before, I don't know why particularly today it did, but it did. So I took, um, and I was going to do this anyway, but I did this more so than I thought, <laughs> took Sophisticated over that and really kind of smudged it in. So kind of a, kind of a smoky like your traditional kind of smoky eye is what I was thinking. And then I I took Sassy as a highlighter. I really enjoy, I've used that a couple of times now. I am really enjoying that, but that part of the review will come at the end. So um, let me zoom you in. Now I did this before I went to church and it is now, oh, I didn't even know, like four o'clock. I forgot to record this when I came home. So that is the look. And the rest of my face, just blush and lip gloss like I always tell you. I have the Physician's Formula Rosy Glow, which I did not touch up. This is how long that lasts. Um, we went to 8 o'clock church, so I did this probably about 7 o'clock this morning. So, And then on my lips, I have the MAC Kissable Lip Color in Super. Which looks like that. Well, you can see it on my lips, but... Alright, so that's look one number one. I will see you tomorrow with look number two. Bye! Okay, so day two look that I have for you guys today. Um, I use, I kind of went for the kind of light to dark, but I was trying to do a really blended light to dark. Not like you don't always want it blended, but you know what I'm saying. So I took Standoffish, which is this color right here. That's in my inner third. And then I took Seductive, which is this one right here, in the middle, and then Silly, in the outer third. And then I used Sultry to um, soften out the crease. And I didn't put a highlight color on because the only highlight color in here is Sassy. And while I really like that, it's a definite sheen. And I just, there was enough kind of a shimmer on my lid. I didn't want a sheen up there as well. So I didn't use a highlight color for showing you guys. Before I leave, I will probably put Roulette on there just because I like something up there. But it wasn't in the palette, so I don't know how you guys feel about that. <laughs> so um, for my liner today, I used my Sue Devitt um, Eye Intensifier Pencil in Kenya, which looks like this. And I have that on my top line, my bottom line, smudged up with my, actually, my Sue Devitt brush that I really like for smudging eyeliner. It has no name, <clears throat> but it's just a little kind of stubby brush. And then I also tight lined with this, which I don't like as much as my... Um, stubborn brown, but it works. Um, and then I'll zoom in and then I'll show you what's on the rest of my face. Oops. Alrighty then. Um, for blush today, I used the Lorac in, oh, I just scuffed my nail, <laughs> or chipped my nail, in Velvet Rope. And then on my lips today, I have Boldly Bare Lip Liner from MAC, and then I have Cream in Your Coffee on my lips. So that is look number two, and I will see you tomorrow with look number three. Bye. Okay, so look three with the Nude Tude palette. Today I wanted to use that kind of burgundy color called Sexy. So on my, over my lid, I used Stubborn, which is right there. And then I used Sultry, as my, and I've been using that kind of as my crease transition color, and it doesn't come off quite as dark as it appears in this pan, but I do still take um, a MAC 222 or a Sigma E35, which is this kind of a fluffy brush, and I will stick it in there, 
and then kind of go like that in my hand to get most of the color off because it is a little bit darker than what I normally like to use which is like wedge so I did that just to really softly and I hold the brush way out here just to really softly transition and then I took sexy and I kind of used my little stamp method which I, if I remember I will link below um, and I did the outer corner and then into the crease and then I used Sassy as my highlight. This is a really pretty highlight, but it gives more of a sheen than I like it in every, you know, every single day. But I actually do really like that as a highlight, but I'll talk about that more at the end. And then Inner Corner, um, I used that as well. I took my MAC Stubborn Brown, which is so teeny tiny, and I lined my upper line and then my, I tight lined with this. And I, then I took one of my favorite brushes lately, and I think I do think I'm going to do a review on this line of brushes. This is the Sigma E21, the smudge brush, so it's a little short and stubby. I took the Sleek, which is that dark brown color, and I ran that underneath with this brush, and then I also took it on top of my Severn Brown eyeliner, kind of mostly in the outer corner, and just smudged that and softened that out a little bit. Um, I used my Hourglass Film Noir. Mascara. I'm gonna zoom you in. And I also use the Tarte primer. I have a little sample of that. I like this look. I really like the burgundy. Just saying. On the rest of my face, I have the It Cosmetics foundation, which I'm about ready to do a review on. I have Chanel Rose Bronze as my blush. And then I am using um, the Tarte Lip Natural Matte. Natural Matte Lip Stain in Hope on my lips. I really like this one, as you can see. Alright, so that's what I have for you today. Tomorrow I will do the final look and then um, give you my thoughts on the palette. So I'll talk to you very soon. Bye! Hi everybody, I have look four for you today and the final look in the Nude Tude Palette for Lux One Palette Series. Um, today I wanted to do, I don't know, I was kind of trying to do a subtle smoky kind of thing. I didn't really know what to call my eye looks. But I started today with, um, and I should have put this in my Topetastic Topic Tuesday um, video, but this is an Urban Decay Glide On Shadow Pencil in Rehab, which looks like that. Totally taupe, seriously. Uh, okay, so I did that at the lash line really thick, but not the whole lid, just at the lash line. And then um, I took all over the lid and kind of all over that you know on top of that I used seductive and I had thought originally when I did it and I'm always honest with you guys I mean it's, I don't plan these looks out beforehand I just do them so I put it on there and I was like mm, that doesn't really look exactly like I was wanting it to look so then I took silly over top of where just where I had the rehab and kind of softened it up into the seductive and then in the crease, I took Snobby, this really pretty gold color right here, into the crease. I did use Brulee for MAC as a highlight. Um, I just didn't feel like it looked finished until I did that. I took Seductive underneath my eye, and then on the outer corner, I used Silly. What's interesting is that Silly is a brown that has some burgundy in it, but depending on what you pair it with, it kind of seems to... Um, kind of chameleon-like to whatever you pair it with. You're pairing it with a brown or pairing it like with the sexy color up here. Um, so yeah, and then I also took Snobby in the inner corner just because I felt like it needed a little lightening up. So that is the look today. Um, I didn't use obviously any liner because kind of this was the liner. I tight lined um, with MAC Black Track. I left the bottom waterline open and I'll zoom you in and I'll show you what I have on the rest of my face. So, yeah, I, it wasn't exactly what I thought it was going to be originally, but I do like it. I like it, you know. <laughs> um, on my cheeks today, I have my Sue Devitt Hydrating Marine Minerals Eye and Cheek Palette in Beau Soleil. That's my best guess. Which looks like that. I just swirl it all together and slap it on my cheeks. A little Too Faced bronzer for mascara again today. I have the um, Tarte primer. I have a little sample that I've been testing out. And then the Hourglass Film Noir Mascara. And on my lips today I have Pink Truffle Lip Butter. 
Okay, so I just want to kind of give you the rundown of my thoughts on this palette. I do like the palette. The shadows themselves go on very nicely. I did not have any issues with them creasing. Now, I was using, I have been um, trying out the Urban Decay Eden, which is a topic for another video since I usually only use Painterly. So all week this week I used Eden. Um, so while I, these are definitely neutral colors, they're, I, I kind of feel like they are in the same-ish family. Um, there's not a ton of diversity, but again, they're neutral. So, you know, it's not like you're going to find a bright pink in here or something. But um, let me just, I'm going to swatch these for you and then I will come back to you. Okay, so I have all of the colors swatched on my hand for you here. Sassy, stubborn, selfish, sophisticated, sexy, and serious. And check that out, that's supposed to be the black. Not very pigmented in my opinion. I mean, it's not. A, it's a good black to kind of blend in to darken a color, but it's not a black black by any means. Snobby, standoffish, sultry, seductive, silly, and sleek. I really like the sleek color. It's a really nice dark brown matte. So there are um, these two are obviously. Uh, excuse me. These two. The Serious and Sleek, so the dark brown and the black, are both matte. And Sultry is also matte, which is this color right here. So there are three mattes in all of the 12 shades, which it's okay. I really enjoy Sassy, as you can see here, is really pigmented if you put it on like with a, with a shader brush. I used it with a fluffy brush as a highlight, as I mentioned, and I really do like it as a different kind of highlight. When you don't want like a brulee matte kind of highlight, and you want it to have a little bit of sheen, it really is very, very pretty, and I have enjoyed that, and we'll probably use it for that, you know, for that purpose. That may be one of the main reasons I come back to this palette, is for that highlight. Not that I didn't enjoy the rest of it, but there are other neutral palettes that I enjoyed just a little bit more, I think. Um, I got this on Holt Look for $18. That I'm willing to pay. I don't think I would have paid full price for this, which I believe is $36. Again, not that I didn't like it. I just have, I have a lot of other similar colors and similar palettes. So, I do think if you can get it on Holt Look for $18, it is a really good buy. And there are some absolute, di absolutely different looks that you can do with this. It's just, like I said, not one of my all-time favorite neutral palettes, but I have really enjoyed playing with it this week. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave it below. If you um, want me to do a tutorial on any of the looks that you saw in the video, go ahead and leave those below as well. So the next four looks, one palette. I have determined will be one of these two palettes that I'm going to show you. And while these palettes have been out forever and I think people are sick of hearing about them because they already have purchased them and know that they're good. Um, I, I've, I feel like you guys might be interested in a four looks, one palette with one of these two palettes. And they are the Naked 1 and 2. Uh, I know that there are tons of tutorials out there and maybe you really aren't interested and if so, please feel free to say that as well. Let me know if you're like, no, so over the Naked palettes, I want whatever palette. You know, feel free to leave that sort of information for me as well. I just feel like um, when I did the original video asking what palettes you guys might be interested in, these came up a lot. So let me know one or two. And yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you're having a great week. And I will talk to you very soon. Bye.